Right, things are rolling, let's talk about how we don't have a fucking capable striker. Woohoo! What's going on guys? Talk Aston Villa here back to review the West Bromwich Albion versus Aston Villa match finishing nil nil at the Hawthorns. Yes, we're gonna be last on match of the day, shocker, but I mean oh, I honestly as a Villa fan, I don't know how some of you guys feel, but let me know in the comments below. I feel robbed. I mean, some West Brom fans will probably not really want to be honest about this and be really reluctant about it, but they'll probably even admit they're lucky to come out with a point. I mean, if we had a clinical striker, hell, if we had a, stri a decent striker, this game could have easily been like a 2-0 win, something like that. I mean, it's just our team is calling out for a decent striker. I mean, obviously, with the whole Gestead thing, he actually finally ran about 10 feet this whole freaking season, and now he's pulled out with a hamstring injury. Who knows how long he's out for. But, I mean, it's just calling out for one. Kozak's all right, but him holding up the ball is about all he can do. Besides him receiving the ball, he can't pass it or anything. So, like, what more do you really want him to do? He's just a limited striker in his capabilities, and it's someone who's evidently low on confidence. But getting into the first half, I think the biggest thing in the first half was the penalty shout that wasn't called on us, of course. I can't remember who, I think it was Olsen that slid in behind. And it wasn't the biggest tackle or anything, but it's still evidently a penalty. I can't remember the referee's name. Leave it in the comments below if you can remember it. But I know he's one of the uh, more renowned referees for giving penalties. Missing the most obvious one of the game, or like the only one that should have been a show. But I mean, like, how is that not a penalty? Any other referee probably would have called that. And I mean, this is the major inconsistency in refereeing in the Premier League. It's just been, this season has been evidently shittier than any other season with refs. It's just getting worse and worse. I mean, where do they find half of these guys? It's just awful. Bring technology into the game more or something like that. Because it's just, it's piss poor decision making. And it's awful. And beyond that, I mean, looking at both teams from a neutral perspective, both teams didn't really have a lot of quality opportunities. Obviously, Villa, I believe, had more possession. We had obviously more shots. I don't think West Brom registered a shot. I think they had four off target, and that was it. So that's their fourth game this season, which obviously leads the Premier League with no shots on goal. That's troubling for them, obviously. And I know some West Brom fans don't like Pulis. They're not a big fan of how he plays. Obviously, he nicked them a point in the game they probably would have lost if we had a Benteke still, if, I hate to say it reluctantly, if we had a Delph in the midfield. It's just players like that. If we had them in our team still, or at least replace them with someone that is, I guess, in essence of those players, that is like them in some stature, that made, this game would have been a win. I mean, look at... Look at Southampton. They just they bought Charlie Austin for four million pounds, and he just nicked a winner against Man United at Old Trafford. I mean, I know we wouldn't have got him given our situation, but if we had a few more points, maybe he would have been tempted. We would have had a better chance to stay up. But I mean, it's we're lacking someone like a Charlie Austin, like a Ben Teke, like something like that that would have put chances away. I think man of the match for me would be Carl's heel because albeit he did lose the ball and make some stupid mistakes, or really everyone does this season for Vela, but I mean, today, he did string along the ball, balls nicely, he moved them around, he created opportunities, had a few pop shots that, obviously, I know one challenge uh, Foster, but it's just, I think, uh, looking beyond that, who are you going to give man the match to? Mark Bunn, I guess, was decent, I think that shows, <clears throat> sorry, I have a bit of a chess man flu thingy, I don't even know, um, but I think this just shows that maybe we don't need to buy a striker, or not a striker, a goalkeeper this window. Maybe we wait to the summer. I mean, Brad Guzan can hold off as a backup. That's fine with me. Mark Bunn has, what, two clean sheets in his last three games where Guzan only had two and last, what, like 20 or something like that? It's just, we have to hold out for what we can. It's going to be hard to bring in players. It's going to be hard to find... Villa attractive right now, but I mean, it's just shocking how we play going forward. It's so slow, it's so lacking of quality. When we ping it out wide or ping it into the box, no one's there. It's just easy to clear, and it was the same thing for West Brom this match. It was just slow build up, and I mean, talented players, even decent players, how would find those bits of space, that moment of quality, and try to take that opportunity. And I mean, someone like Carl's Heel tried it, but besides that, it was just 
slow buildup, very predictable. No one in the box until Gestead came off then obviously got hurt. But, I mean, it's just, it's two points dropped. It is. And, I mean, that would have put us on 15 points. Now we're on 13. I believe it's West Ham next next Tuesday. So, we got we got a bit, or not next Tuesday, the Tuesday after that. But we have a we have a bit of work on our hands here. If we have any chance, and I mean any chance, another win has to come here soon. Or it's all but over. But anyways, guys, leave your thoughts on the match. Who was your man in the match? All that good stuff. Like the video. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.